Welcome back. In this last video, we will show you how you can design, test, and deploy in real time. In previous videos, we've shown you how easy it is to use the drag and drop designer. Now let's show you how we can use it to test. If you remember in our original video, we used the get data and create incident to create our first workflow. To test this, we simply use the pop flow test harness. We enter in our test data and we press the send test button. Now in real time, you can see the test harness going through each activity and testing. As we drill down, we see that we found Henrik Larsen. Let's see what this looks like from the service cloud side. As we click send test, you see it going through each activity. And in service cloud, we pop up the incident, creating it for Henrik Larsen and display all the data needed. Let's try a different type of test. Remember, we added the switch activity, which allowed us to get different types of workflow off the IVR press offs. Well, what if I want to test service? where we did a get data, we created an incident and we added a subject line of service call and associated with the account, and then we added a JavaScript that was an alert. But let's add one more piece of data before we test. Let's add some auto noting to the incident. This is a service call. Now again, using the test harness, we can add in a different key element, which is call type to call service. Click the send test button and you'll see the switch automatically go down to the service workflow, which we can see has been successful through all the activities. Let's see what this looks like in Service Cloud. As the call comes up, we automatically see our JavaScript pop. We've also created the incident, associated it to Henrik Larsen, added in our subject line, and auto-noted the account that this was a service call. Now that we've tested our workflow internally, let's test with live agents. By creating a small test group in Service Cloud, you can use the Test Harness Publish button to publish to this test group. Let's see what that looks like. Here, we're adding another option to our switch, or IVR. We'll call it Gift Cards. We can then scroll down to the newly added call type. We can paste in some activities where we have our Get Data, Get Contact Information. We've added a contact card so the agent can see what type of call it is on the Harmony Media Bar, create the incident with the subject of gift card, and then trigger a named event. This will allow Service Cloud to understand that this is a gift card and automatically focus on the gift card tab. We can then use the publish button, choose the test group, and publish. It's that easy. Now, on the next call, the agent will receive the newly published workflow. Here you can see the call type gift card on the Harmony Media Bar and that we automatically focused on the gift card tab. Now, once the agents and the business have signed off on the new workflow, simply come back up to publish, add in the production of inbound support, and click save. Now you've actually tested internally use the test group and push this to production, all using the PopFlow test harness. Want to revert back to a previously published workflow? Simply use the publish history and go back to that workflow. Check to make sure it's the correct workflow and use the republish button to publish back out to your test group or production. It truly is that easy to design, test, and deploy using PopFlow Studio. We really want to thank you for joining us for Buoy Migration Made Easier with PopFlow, where we've learned how you can use drag and drop designers with standard activities, change development to configuration, simplify those third-party integrations, and design, test, and deploy easier. Thank you for watching.